Hello guys, welcome again to another video and this time I'm going to talk about the sorbo file, the rise and fall so um, what happened recently that uh, highlight this story is very fantastic story for me uh, I'm talking about Kevin Sorbo and um, the recent chaos that happened in Washington DC has created such a historic event, you know, what happened that will be part of American history and world history that a crowd invaded the Capitol Hill and tried to take down the US government, <clears throat> tried to stop the rise of the next president, Joe Biden, Joe Biden they call him, and they want to put Trump back into power. And they were so adamant, the Trump supporters are so adamant that they can put back Trump into office. And they were supported, they were supported by a lot of celebrities. And one of them that I, I love is Kevin Sorbo. This is Kevin Sorbo. He's an actor. He's a fun actor. Um, he's famous for this role, uh, which is the Hercules. I mean, uh, this show came out when I was late 80s, early 90s. You know, this movie, uh, this TV show is fantastic. It was about Heracles, the Greek myth hero, and his adventure. It was directed by Sam Raimi. One of the best directors, one of the best to me, one of the best directors ever lived. He he did a TV show at one time. I was surprised, you know. This is after his Evil Dead series. He went into TV and he did Heracles. And it's the star here, the main star, Kevin Sorbo. Handsome guy, muscle. I mean, everybody, every guy is at my age like him. And after a while, he grew up to be a Trump supporter. And that's fine. You can be. You can support anybody you want. So I'm talking about this time. That why why this video? Because during the recent Capitol assault on the Capitol Hill, Kevin Sorbo was knew about it. Was supporting for supporting it from afar. I would say he he knew about it and he was supporting it because from his tweets. And this is this video is about his amazing tweets. Amazing tweets from a. A uh, farmer has been actor, hero. I mean, some of you still love him. I love him, you know. I, I love his character. I don't love... I mean, he is a bit kooky. But let's go to the tweet. So, you see? The word down there, I mean, this, is, this is from the day itself, from the day of the assault. You see, the date, 6 January 21, believe it. So, people are writing... People are storming the capital in D.C. right now. So he replied, it's happening. So he knows, you know, it's no, the time is there for the revolution. They're calling it a revolution, storming this. The word I'm using here, storming the capital hill. They are storming, man. They're not tourists visiting that place. They're not protesting. They are storming the capital hill. So Kevin Sorbo know about this. This is not protest, babe. The word they are used by a lot of people is a protest and whatnot. No, they are storming the Capitol Hill. This is from the tweet. And, you know, Kevin Sorbo being the supporter. Yeah, it's happening, man. Let's follow up. History is being made. 10, uh, this is 10.27 a.m. At 11.17 a.m. History is being made. This is when they are so seeing the people there already entering the Capitol building. Wow, he know about this. He know it's not a protest. It's not a peaceful protest. It's a storm of the capital. Assault on the capital. Storming. Yeah, see, he even used the word. In the next speech at 12.16, this is 11.17, this is 12.16 p.m. He said, to those storming the capital building, please be careful. Do not act like Antifa. Respect the police and know they are mostly on our side. They are simply trying to do their job. <laughs> Next page, uh, that is at 1 o'clock. This is at 12.16 p.m. At 1 p.m., 
Antifa led the charge into Capitol building dressed as Trump supporters. Babe, those are not Antifa, man. Those are, those are as we are know now that the so the as the reports are coming in, they have arrested some of those people already. More will be arrested. They are not Antifa. They are Trump supporters. And he was saying Antifa led the charge. Oh man, you see, this is the last. This is the last. This is the best part of the street. Let me go. Let me go. See, no, because he he was responding to this, to this supporters. This is Trump supporters, babe. Look at that. This guy has been already fired. This guy with the with the flag. In the if you check the new story, he got fired already. You know why? Because he got fired. He was wearing his lanyard, his office lanyard, to go to a, to go to a storming of the Capitol. Building, man, he got fired. They are they are searching for everybody else in the picture. So the this one, do this look like Trump supporters? Wow, or leftist agitators disguised as Trump supporters? You know, and Kevin Sorbo, at in they don't look like patriots to me. You know why they this he started to go into this mode? Because what happened was the assault did take place. They wanted an assault on to assault on Capitol Hill. A storming of Capitol Hill. When they saw the things get violent, the thing looks unruly. Then they are accusing the left. But bro, you are storming the Capitol. Storming the Capitol. If you understand the word, the meaning of the word, you storming the Capitol. It's nothing to do with gently walking down the steps. To the Capitol building and knocking the doors. No, you are storming. The word is storming. Do you expect they will not be crazy people there? Of course, they will be crazy people. They don't like patriot to me. You know why they say that? That because when they saw all the mess and chaos, they got afraid. People like Kevin Sorbo now trying to say this is not. This is not the the, the party I represent. This is not. This is not Republican. These are not Trump supporters. They are leftists. You see, now the reply, the best reply of the day, is by Lucy Lawless. No peanut, no peanut. They are not patriots. They are flying monkeys, homegrown terrorists, few are non actors. They are the douchebag. They go out and do the evil bidding of people like you, who like to wind them up like toys and let them do their worst. Exactly. Do you know what happened? What she said is true. I want to show you who is Lucy Lawless. Lucy Lawless is this person, this actress. She plays Zina in the um, Zina, the Warrior Princess TV show. There is also the same show that was produced by the same team that produced Her Hercules. You see, they are from the same production, same company, same production, different storyline. Hercules focus on the hero, Hercules and her, his friends. Zina focus on Lucy Lawless and her friend, the Zina princess, the Zina princess, warrior princess. So they know each other. They are friends. And so she replied to him when she said, when he said, you know, they don't look like patriots to me. And she replied the most fantastic reply: No peanut. They are not patriots. They are. Douchebag that go and do the evil bidding of people like you who like to wind them up. The words she used to wind them up like toys and let them do their worst. You see, people like Kevin Sorbo, he is like all these celebrities, all these politicians. They use these people. They use these crazy people. They use people like this to do their evil bidding, which is to storm the Capitol Hill. These people are pawns. They are being used by people like Kevin Sorbo, for Republican politician, the President Trump. You see, even the words to those storming the Capitol building, please be careful. Like they are encouraging it from behind. History is being made. History, my ass, is happening. This is the legacy that Kevin Sorbo will be remembered by for me, not Hercules. But how dumb he is! He is one of those people who egg people on, who hide people, 
who encourage this thing from behind, who encourage this chaos that happened. The President of the United States, the Republican politician, they encourage the storm of democracy, the storm of the capital front. These people, my friend, look at that. Trump, they storm the capital building. It's not a protest. It's not a peaceful protest. It's a storm. The word they use, not me. You can check everybody else using the storming of the Capitol building. This fucker is one of them. You know when people say, you know, people are storm. You can he just, he can just say, don't storm, be peaceful, be peaceful, protest. It's not storming. No, it's happening. You say it's happening, man. It's happening, cool, man. History is being made, man. When he saw all this chaos. When he saw, no, people, those storming the capital, he is one of these fucker, the most dumb actor, enabler. He encouraged this crazy shit that happened in America. You know, you think, who cares, right? You say, some of you who are supporters, you say, who cares? You know what, people, why this is important? Because evil people like Stalin have done this before, Adolf Hitler, have done this before. They destroyed democracy. They destroyed this kind of thing through violence. Do you think this is... Who do, you, who do you think is happy looking at this? You know who looking at this happy? Putin. Kim Jong-un. All of those dictators, they are looking at this, they are happy. For them, oh, this is how you do things. Because that's how they do things. Do you want your country to become like this? This is not democracy. This is the coffee. <laughs> the sorbo file. The rise and fall. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.